हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर जीशान मंसूरी इंटरवेंशनल कार्डियोलॉजिस्ट एट जीसीएस मेडिकल कॉलेज हॉस्पिटल अहमदाबाद विथ मी इज डॉक्टर जीत ब्रह्मभट हु इज ऑल्सो एन इंटरवेंशनल कार्डियोलॉजिस्ट एट जीसीएस मेडिकल कॉलेज हॉस्पिटल अहमदाबाद इन द लाइट ऑफ रिसेंट इवेंट्स वी वुड लाइक टू टॉक अबाउट यंग प्रोफेशनल्स एंड अक्यूट कोरोनरी सिंड्रोम्स सो रिसेंटली वी ऑल हैव हर्ड अबाउट many young professionals many young people getting heart attack and getting cardiac arrest within the age group of 25 to 40 years it is very unusual we generally think of heart attack as an illness that uh, our uncles or our fathers or our parents they would get in their 50s or 60s however recently we are seeing that these events are occurring more frequently in young professionals as well Dr Jeet uh, will explain to us what are the factors behind this recent trend and what we can do to ameliorate that Thank you Dr Zeeshan so yes friends today as Dr Zeeshan mentioned we shall address upon the rather youthful population of our country which is most often ignored for cardiac diseases but then as we see off late uh, courtesy our media that it's not an age group which is barred of the same element as well what leads up to people aging from 20 to 40 to have a cardiac disease historically we have seen that usually the cardiac disease especially coronary syndromes are more common with people who are aging more than 50 or 60 however that is technically a myth even in 1920s people aging 20s and 30 in that 20s and 30s used to have myocardial infarctions even today it is relevant however the things which have changed the things which have made us more prone to such conditions we can usually divide them in three subsets a our lifestyle b our addictions or social pressures and c our sex so when we say gender or sex females are by default protected through their 20s 30s and 40s by the virtue of menstruation the hormonal changes in the body usually protect them from having a cardiac condition or a sudden cardiac arrest or a myocardial infarction however males they do not have this luxury well for females this might sound as a problem but it's a boon it's a blessing in this guys for males we do not have it plus usually in a typical indian society a male has to bear the family responsibilities having to run a social life as well as to balance out between his responsibilities and luxuries most of the young males they end up having one or the other addiction in the name of the same that i have a lot of stress usually smoking a cigarette or consuming tobacco relieves me of it which is a very big excuse to just escape into something and land up in a rather bigger trouble as much as we would like to address this on our own level we shouldn't and avoid having such addictions early in the life so that we don't end up paying for them later on and the later on is not really late it ha- it can happen in your 20s it can happen in your 30s and the recent evidences are enough to showcase us that we shouldn't be into any of such habits for work everybody who works in a corporate or a multinational company has a set of targets to achieve has his own level of ambitions has a, his own set of duties to fulfill targets to achieve and that leads to a lot of stress so relieving stress is the biggest factor and if you can actually manage your stress with rather practical ways like by spending time with your friends entertaining a hobby be it music be it gardening be it anything that you like spending some time with your family and trying to unwind trying to get rid of your day to day chores it rather is the biggest solution in the current situation if you consider quitting your addictions that you have or not landing them into addictions that your peers have clubbing this with your stress and relieving it is the biggest answer to all the existing problems for particularly males what we see these days is the addiction of gym and that is not with the purpose of fitness but that is with the purpose of building up a lot of muscles a lot of brawn your intent of going to gym has to be for fitness and not for building up just muscle so to look rather muscular and appealing to others that is not your purpose of life so this leads to a lot of consumption of protein supplements steroids anabolic steroids which are usually detrimental to your heart and the biggest problem is the people who prescribe it to you are not the professionals either we don't check up on their certification and their knowledge on the same 
So we end up building a lot of muscles. Yes, maybe yes. But then, do we see the direct evidence of it on our heart? We do not. And hence, a day comes when somebody just outside the gym collapses, collapses at home with sudden cardiac arrest, and on post-mortem, on autopsies, we realize that they had a heart attack. This is a very avoidable situation. We should rather go to gym to attain fitness and not just to look good. That is one important facet of life that males need to address in particular and not females maybe. So there are conditions where you have no addictions, you have no uh, substance abuse, but yet you can have a heart attack in the same age group. So there are tests by which we can screen and make sure that we take medicines or stop ourselves from landing into such condition. Dr. Zishan will elaborate on the same. Thank you, Dr. Zeet, for the valuable information. So, historically, we believe that uh, cardiac checkup or cardiac profile means ECG, ECO, TMT and lipid profile. But certain number of patients, they present with uh, acute coronary syndrome despite having all these tests reported normal. So, there are certain uh, tests that you should know about like uh, apoprotein A, apoprotein B, lipoprotein A and serum homocysteine levels. Especially in the young population, uh, 25 to 40 years of age group, they do get acute coronary syndrome because of altered these parameters. And uh, if you believe or if you have a doubt that uh, you are having some or either of any symptoms of a heart attack or something like that, you should rush to a nearby hospital and get yourself checked. We and our uh, team of cardiologists is available at GCS Medical College Hospital throughout the week, Monday to Saturday, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. If you believe that you have some condition, if you want to get a uh, preventive health checkup, if you just want to uh, get your heart checked, you can come here, come in here and get yourself checked. You can get all the reports done. And if you cannot come here personally, you can go to your nearby hospital and ask your doctor to do a thorough checkup, especially for a preventive purpose. Many a times uh, we do not believe that this preventive checkup is useful or it is not. But what happens is that when we get a heart attack in our 60s or 70s, our family takes care of us. But uh, when we get a heart attack in 25 to 40 years of age group, we have to take care of ourselves as well as we have to take care of our family as well. So it gives you a double burden, it gives you a bill burden, it gives you a financial burden and it also gives you a, show, a social burden to take care of your family. Hence, it is always wise to uh, get yourself checked, to predict these events and to ameliorate these events. To, uh, you can prevent these events, you can prevent a heart attack by getting yourself checked and if required necessary treatment before getting any event. Because what happens once you get a heart attack, your heart's function to uh, ability to pump is also reduced. So that is mentioned via ejection fraction or EF. So once your uh, heart attack is there, the ejection fraction is going to reduce and your functional class or your ability to function properly will also be reduced accordingly. Hence, it is always better to prevent a heart attack than to get treatment for the same. So we are available here now and you can always come here. You can get yourself checked and uh, uh, save your family as well. Thank you. Well guys, we tried to make it as simple as we could and hope the information helps you at least to be more cautious with your own lives. Stay healthy, stay safe. Thank you.